Hey guys, um, welcome back to another gift talk. I do apologize uh, right away that uh, if I seem a little tired, they uh, just real life kind of get in the way. Uh, as you can see, we're preparing to get ready to get moving. Um, still haven't really found a place yet, but we are trying to get this place a little declutterified and uh, just kind of move things around. I've actually been uh, selling off some of my collections um, to bolster other ones, which uh, you'll see some of that today. Um, I have sold my entire pop collection. I have sold um, most of, I think I only have two figures left, most of my uh, Kaiju, um, Godzilla, and uh, Ultraman, stuff like that, uh, figures. So you will actually get to see what's left. Um, I do, I have gotten a lot of stuff, but unfortunately most of it's packed away or I can't find it, but I have gotten some stuff and um, I am going to show you uh, the movies that I got that aren't unfortunately packed away. I did pack some of them away. Um, and then I got uh, some turtle stuff that I am really looking forward to showing you guys and uh, well, let's just get started. This is uh, my July movie and Ninja Turtle and comic book and figures and all that haul. So, all right. So I will mention the two that um, I have gotten but accidentally packed. Um, one is called um, Necessary Evil. It was actually a dollar store pickup. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's a documentary on the DC villains and why they're necessary and why they help progress the story along so well and how they have to be even better characters than the heroes so uh, that one I've actually owned before I sold it a while back and I kind of regretted it so I picked it up for a dollar uh, another one was called The Eagle Has Landed um, it is, has Robert Duvall, Donald, uh, Donald Sutherland and um, Michael Caine. I have never seen this movie. Um, it, it looked good. It had a good cast, so I am looking forward to seeing it. Again, unfortunately, I did uh, uh, pack that away, but it was only $2 at a thrift store. So. That is the uh, the ones that I did end up uh, packing away, but let's look at the rest of them. Uh, the next ones are actually from uh, Dollar Tree, other Dollar Trees that I hit. This one I was really happy to get. It's called The Many Lives of Sherlock Holmes. Um, it pretty much has uh, over 30 hours of his film, radio, and print. Um, film, radio, TV, and print. And it's just an amazing book set. Um, I'll open it up so you can see it. It does have a, a fully book in it, and it has, you know, six discs in it. Um, the packaging is very nice. Uh, this print is actually the Scandal of Bohemia. It is actually one of the stories um, that he is very well known for. It's actually, uh, I believe, the introduction to Irene Adler, uh, who turns out to be uh, Sherlock Holmes' girlfriend at that time. But it also has just an amazing amount of actors. Um, Christopher Lee... Basil Rathbone, Nigel Bruce, Arthur um, Wanter, and Ian Fleming, um, Reginald Owen, and Nigel Bruce, and Basil Rathbone again. Uh, they were probably one of my two of my favorites, Basil Rathbone being a, just an amazing actor. And of course, Christopher Lee, he has done so much, and he does play Sherlock Holmes. Um, it does have the uh, Sherlock Holmes, the deadliest uh, necklace. Terror by Night, Dressed to Kill, A Woman in Green, which is a really good movie, Sherlock Holmes and the Secret Weapon, Murder in Bakersville, The tri um, Triumph Trophy of Sherlock Holmes, The Sign of Four, which is one of his most classic stories, and The Study of Scarlet, which is um, supposedly their first case together, although I have heard that there are other um, ones that claim that, so... And then it just has the uh, Sherlock Holmes on radio um, with quite a few of those. I own most of them, but there was a few I was missing, and I'm sure these are going to be much clearer um, to listen to. So, yeah, I am a huge Sherlock Holmes fan, and uh, this was just a, a beautiful set to get. And like I said, it was a dollar. 
I, I couldn't have asked for better than that. So, um, these next two, uh, I've heard of the show. I'm probably going to yell up because I've never seen the show. But uh, this is the British version of the show, which some people will say it's better. Some people say it's the worst of the two. Um, I do know there's an English version, but it is The Office. Um, I do have The Office complete uh, first series, so it's season one. And then I have the special, um, the special edition or special episodes of The Office. Uh, these, again, were a dollar a piece. Um, I got these with the Sherlock Holmes at a one store and I really um, I'm looking forward to it I did not know that uh, um, crap what is his name uh, Martin Freeman was in the office I, I like him quite a bit obviously being a huge fan of the Hobbit Lord of the Rings and um, or the Hobbit he wasn't in Lord of the Rings he was in Hobbit and then of course uh, Black Panther and the Marvel movies so uh, definitely looking forward to this. It seems to have a pretty good cast, um, and it doesn't really have Steve Carell in it, which is my main issue. Although I do have season one, and almost bought season two of The Office today. So, uh, unfortunately, I just didn't have enough money. So, all right. Well, the next one is also a British uh, comedy. It actually had a pretty good cast. It was at a Dollar Tree at an, uh, another time. It is Get Shorty with uh, Ray uh, Ray Romano and Chris Adode. I know uh, Chris Adode from the IT Crowd, which is another British show. Um, the uh, obviously, you know, Ray Romano is a, a good actor. Um, I'm trying to figure out if this is anything like the movie. Um, Yeah, it, it seems like it, it's going to be uh, like the movie, so I am looking forward to that. I really did like the movie, the American movie, so. Uh, another one I'm looking forward to, I just, I don't know when I'm going to find time, so. Uh, this one, I did find it at the same Dollar Tree as that one, um, and I actually did watch it. I liked it. Um, you know, it does star Morgan Freeman, Tommy Lee Jones, and Rene Russo, and it is just getting started um, sorry about the glare there I I like this movie I thought it was funny um, it's not as funny as it could have been I mean Tommy Lee Jones and Morgan Freeman are two amazing actors I do have seen things with Rene Russo in it um, but I'm not familiar enough with her work to actually sorry yeah my bad to actually know too much about her so um, I did enjoy it I look forward to it I, I think I believe gave this like three stars um, out of five just because I'd be able to rewatch it again and, and all that so uh, my next one is actually a uh, Western that I have been looking for for a very long time and I can't remember if I put this in I want to say I might have put this one in the last month's haul accidentally so if I am doing a second one revealing of this one I do apologize but it is two mules for sister Sarah a great Clint Eastwood movie uh, just a, a really good film uh, I don't know uh, Shirley MacLaine if she did anything else um, but it is one of the the better movies and one I've been looking for for a very long time I actually found this for uh, $2.99 at a, a stuff etc which may be a Iowa based uh, company so. and then I went to a Jay's um, earlier I did buy and sell some stuff uh, like I said I sold my pop collection I sold my Godzilla collection and I did get some movies um, so these weren't too bad this one was actually the free movie because it was buy three get one free which they always have if you're ever in Iowa Jay City and Hobby is an amazing place to go to so this one has Karma Electra in it and is Monsters Island. Um, I I like Karma Electra. It also has Adam West in it and uh, Nick Carter from Backstreet Boys is in it, which I don't really care much about. But it just seemed like a funny concept of these people go and to this island, win a vacation, go to this island, 
that's full of monsters. They find out Karma Electra is there. They have to save her. It's definitely a spoof movie. It was uh, put on MTV. But it's one of those ones that it, it could be really good or semi-good at least or really freaking horrible and I'll have to let you know which it is. Uh, it looks funny. So. Uh, the next one is I actually have a list of the DC cartoons um, that I do not have. I actually was able to mark this off my list. I was pretty happy about that. I believe this was only uh, I want to see. I know that one was that one was free, but it was originally five ninety nine. Um, this one was I want to say or it may have been five ninety nine as well. It is uh, Wonder Woman Bloodline. Uh, I have not seen this one. Uh, it does seem to have some pretty good villains in it with Giganta and Cheetah and uh, you know. I, I like these movies. Uh, I always have, uh, especially the DC cartoons. They are actually better than the live action DC movies. Um, they just have been really nailing them out of the park with these. So I was happy to add this one. I'm not that big of a Wonder Woman fan, but it was one I needed. Um, I'm actually going for the ones that I don't have. Obviously, that's the way it would go. But I found out they're they're mostly uh, Wonder Woman. I have one Green Lantern and uh, a couple of the Spider-Man or Super, sorry, Supermans that I do not have. Um, so, you know, Death of Superman being one of them, uh, and the one with all the clones is another one I'm missing. So, uh, just really glad to get this one. And it does have the slip if that actually matters to you. Uh, it doesn't to me, but it is kind of nice. It's shiny. You know, I'll take it. This next one I did not see in theaters. I actually rented it. I really, really, really liked it, um, and uh, it, it had some surprise cameos in it. I really enjoyed. Um, it's one I ra ranted about on Instagram that I wanted to see. I finally did see it. I enjoyed it. I loved it, and that is Hobbs and Shaw. However you feel about the Fast and the Furious movies, this one is a beast of its own and it is an amazing film um, not only do you have you know Idris Elba Jason Statham and The Rock in it but you also have um, uh, Ryan Reynolds you have uh, The Rock's cousin in it who um, Roman Reigns who's a professional wrestler as well as he is and just a lot of good uh, female characters and, and actors you would know um, for movies that pretty much anywhere they have that face you know and you can never remember their name so uh, this one was 10 bucks I was really happy to find this and it is you know really good it has the blu-ray DVD digital was used but oh well I don't really use those anyway I give those give those away to uh, friends and family don't ask for them they're already claimed but you know. anyway this one uh, this one was kind of a no-brainer. Um, it is my last one, um, but it is a it's a steel book I never knew I actually wanted. You know, I I liked the movie, but I wasn't. It's not my top tier like Marvel Disney film, and that is Civil War. Um, I I gotta say, when I saw this. It was just a beautiful, beautiful steel book. I love this uh, back cover, how it has uh, uh, Captain America and Iron Man, you know, just battling out. And then if you look right here, and you actually, you know, obviously you can't feel through it, but there's a, a crack in it. It's actually embossed 3D in that. And the reason for that is this is a 3D Blu-ray uh, pack. It is just an amazing set. Um, again, not that I think it's any good, but the uh, digital copy is still factory sealed. So whoever watched this, probably only watched it maybe once or twice, decided to sell this. Why, I have no clue, but being for only 15 bucks, 
I snatched it up so fast I think I made the clerk's head spin but yeah it's just an amazing cover this I love this you know that is awesome um, I will say I do like this better than, uh, this is my favorite Captain America, uh, film. I do think it's better than Winter Soldier and the original. Um, I just, I honestly don't kind of feel that it is a Captain America only film or solo film. I think this would have been a decent Avengers film. So, really glad to have that. So that is it for the movies, if that's all you, um you came for there it is I hopefully you enjoyed it but if you're into uh, comic books and, and figures and all that let me show what you show you what I got um, this uh, one is uh, I actually got two comics unfortunately I think the other one is in the box already packed away but this one I really like I'm gonna take it out of the bag and board just because I know it's gonna be really glossy and this is uh, Ninja Turtles um, number 63 from IDW I just love this with Splinter and the foot soldiers and standing in the rain it looks like Splinter is actually um, leading the foot soldiers uh, really just an amazing cover I have not read this yet but I am looking forward to it um, I actually uh, have kind of decided that in the next room I get so one of the things I'm going to do is take some really amazing um, comic book covers and try to incorporate them into the dis the um, you know the decorations and all that so uh, this was definitely going to be one of them I am looking forward to reading it as well um, I've seen the one before this and while I didn't like the covers well I do want to grab it um, just because I think the story is going to be really good my other one that I got was actually one of the uh, one of the originals uh, that is, has nothing to do with IDW. Um, it was one of the original comic books uh, from uh, Eastman and Lord, or Lord, and uh, he it, it looks really good. It has um, Donatello, Raphael, and Leonardo, and they've got a giant crocodile with skull eyes. You know, coming out of the water behind them, they all have the red masks. Um, I, I'm assuming that is um, Leatherhead, uh, and I'm assuming that he is attacking. So, uh, I am looking forward to reading it. It was uh, a pretty cool find. Unfortunately, it was a little more expensive. It was $4.99, but I hear the hard, the older ones are harder to get. So, really happy to get that one. That's all I have for comics. Um, I actually did get, uh, before I do this, I did actually get the um, turtle canister for um, a canister of ooze. Uh, I ended up getting that at, uh, on eBay, or no, Amazon for, um, I want to say, seven, $46. So I was glad to get that. That was uh, one of the things I did pick up is the canister replica. So um, this was another one I got uh, not too long ago. I think it's actually got this one on Friday. I was lucky to find this. A friend of mine told me, hey, they have it. Um, I had passed it up on a couple months ago. He says they still have it, um, but there's only one left. And I had to take stuff to Jay's. I, it took me like two or three days to get there after he told me it was still there. I'm so glad it was there. Um, I love the way these look, but it is the Nickelodeon uh, cartoon Shredder and Crane. Uh, should I put it over here? And uh, I know it's glossy and all that, but you know, really just a nice looking set. Um, I am looking forward to, uh, I don't know if I'm going to open these guys. I've heard they're really rather a pain to open. Uh, but I really like the design of the shredder on this. I actually think this uh, design of the shredder actually beats out the 1990 movies NECA shredder. Um, because I, I don't like the purple sparkly dojo uniform that he has. I like the gray uh, with the purple and the lighter blue that it makes up of his helmet and his shoulder pads. Um, 
Krang, I do have the original, so it'll be nice to compare to uh, the original from like the 19, early 1990s. Um, I am looking forward to uh, compare this to that. So uh, this was uh, $51 at a Target, but they go for so much more on eBay. So I was really, eBay and Amazon, so I was really glad to get this one. I did pick up a um, Turtles in Time um, slash uh, at a Jay's uh, same time I picked up this comic and um, the movies and all that so I was really happy to get that. Uh, it was actually only $22, really uh, nice series, one I think I am going to try to get some more um, of. And, uh, you know, I, whenever I pick up a new series or a new type of, co of uh, turtle thing, I do want to always pick up my favorites, slash not being my favorite, but Donatello. So, yeah, I had to grab the Donatello Turtles in Time. Um, just an amazing looking figure. Um, I love the surfboard and just the packaging of this thing is really amazing uh, so I am glad to get these this one this one was um, thirty seven dollars on uh, no uh, yeah thirty seven dollars it was thirty four ninety nine on uh, Amazon and then I it was like two dollars for shipping and handling so it turned out to be like thirty thirty seven or thirty six thirty seven I believe and yeah, it's just, I love the design of his, uh, you know, the shell and the weapons and, you know, the different hands and the board. I don't know. I don't know. I actually kind of want to open it uh, just to see because I think there was a standy, a clear standy that you could screw and make it tight and then he could actually be on the surfboard and you could pose him in different posts. I am going to um, eventually open these. I am looking into, uh, just looking at buying a, a diorama. They have uh, a NECA one that originally came out with the San Diego Comic Con. Um, that one is way too expensive. I think it, the lowest one I saw was like $300. They went up to $500. Not going to grab that one. Um, NECA did put out one later. It has a little less detail, but it is still really nice. Uh, that one is only 150 I am going to try to grab that one. I just don't know when or when I'll have it up or whatnot. So i um, really glad to, to pick up these, and I'm going to hopefully be able to display those. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get too many more of the cartoon. I just I really like that shredder way, uh, color scheme, design, all that stuff. So, And uh, I'm always picking up Donatello. I think when, uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll try to get the rest of these guys. Um, I do hear they had a, uh, a leather head. I know they have, um, foot soldiers and, uh, I do know there's a shredder. I don't know if I like the shredder. Um, he does have a pink uniform, which doesn't seem very in tune with being a bad guy. Um, I have nothing wrong with the color pink. I actually, my second favorite color um, is pink, but it's just, you know, I don't know if I, I want to pick that one up or not. I'll, I'll look at it again, see what kind of weapons he comes with and all that. So, well, guys, that is up. It's, that is, huh. That is all, it's all for July. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I am sorry if I've been slurring or getting my facts wrong or whatever, forgetting stuff. Um, we, just between work and the baby now teething and, you know, just a lot of things and both me and my wife being sick and it's been a rough, rough month. And obviously with the coronavirus, it's not helping any. Um, so, well, guys, um, I hope you have a great week. Stay safe. Um, enjoy watching movies, collecting uh, if you get a chance to, and uh, just enjoy your day. 
and I hopefully you guys will, uh, you know, that's it. Have a good day, guys.